Welcome to LV Craft Shows. Thank you so much for 25 years of support. We love to bring you unique gifts and events, something for everyone. So many original crafts, one-of-a-kind gifts, delicious foods including vegan and vegetarian, boutiques, art, and many other items. LV Craft Shows has won the Review Journal's Best of Las Vegas for many years. Our goal is always to bring you the best. LV Craft Shows presents night markets, festivals, specialty events. We love supporting crafters, artists, and small businesses. Whether you like shopping for unique gifts, take out your family, make it a day or night out with friends, enjoy some food and entertainment, need a girl's night out, or take a little mini trip to the mountains to escape the heat, LV Craft Shows has got it all, and there is still more to come. Check out our website, lvcraftshows.com. We have many shows, so check our calendar of events. Again, thanks for sharing your time with our family. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hello, my name is Susie and welcome to LV Craft Shows. We do craft festivals, night markets, specialty events and fundraisers for Sirs Rescue Rangers Animal Rescue. And we would like to introduce you to an amazing lineup of talented artists today. Debbie. Debbie from Gems, Rocks and Fossils. Tell us a little bit about what you do and why. Well, I, I've been absolutely crazy about dinosaurs since I was three years old. So I go on digs twice a year out in uh, South Dakota and Wyoming. Wow. And uh, I send gems and stuff to kids because they love fossils. And so it's really unique to be in a show and be able to show dinosaur bones. And especially since some of our shows have dinosaurs on site, that must be super exciting for you, Well, right? it's real exciting to see that dino come straight, walking down the hallway just a little while ago, and the kids were going crazy, so it's great. I sent them especially for you. <laughs> and you, you can <laughs> find Joe and Debbie at several of our shows. I am here with Karen and Linda from Karen's Crystal Brittles and the Stuffy Ladies. Karen, what inspired you to make brittle? It was my father's favorite candy, so I made it because uh, my mother could cook everything else. So I learned from a lady who was in her 80s, spent a whole day, and so she taught me to make it. And then uh, fudge, I've been making fudge for years, and Linda kept telling me that I needed to sell fudge. So I finally gave in, and two years ago we did the fudge. It's very, very delicious. Now, Linda, you are in charge of the Stuffy Ladies. What's that all about? Well, 11 years ago when we started the brittle business, we had decorations like this in our booth and everyone kept trying to buy them and that's how the Stuffy Ladies was born. And they all have detachable gift card pouches. Most of them can be hung. And then during the pandemic, we learned to do shadow boxes and now if you can think it up, we can make it. And there is something for everyone. So you have different types of brittle, you have the fudge, you have the shadow boxes, the stuffies, you have other containers and things. And it's really inspiring because you two always dress alike, you wear the same jewelry, the same shoes, and you're inseparable as best <laughs> friends. And when we have two shows in two different places, you have to sometimes split up. Wait, How do you do it? Uh, make extra stuff. <laughs> and work a little bit harder just so that we can split up, do everything that we want to do. And we love having your shows and being a part of them. So. As a violin teacher, you say you have some really talented students that sometimes chip in and help you, right? We do. So a lot of my students work the booth during the holiday season and we appreciate their help as well and they're starting to be known in the booth. So be sure you come and see them at pretty much all our indoor events.
Patrick from Aloha Specialties. Patrick, you have all these amazing Hawaiian goodies. Tell us about it. So yeah, so we're, I'm born and raised in Hawaii. Uh, we've been around all this delicious Hawaiian uh, gourmet products. I uh, grew up with it. So I was like, you know, we just decided to you know, come up to the mainland and just share it with all the people up here. Just things they can't just find in regular stores, you know. We have like Hawaiian style sauces, jams, jellies and snacks. Just things that are unique and different. You know, to everyone. You definitely have to come check him out. He's at almost all of our shows coming up, so please be sure to stop by. Thank you. beautiful Chandra from Chandra's Treasures. Now Chandra is involved in all kinds of sports and NFL and she was actually part of the Raider Reds. She's still active with the Raiders. Tell us how do you get from sports to this beautiful jewelry that you're making? Well I was lucky enough to travel a lot when I was in sports when I was in track and field and I traveled and I saw lots of different stones in different places and I got a lot of different uh, ideas about jewelry and, and culture and then I learned how to mine and rock climb and do all these fun things so I actually mine a lot of my own stones. I definitely cut and polish most of them, wire wrap all of them. <laughs> And this happens to be just a really pretty geode, quartz geode, and it's tie-dye. I, I love that, and I'm, I'm a tie-dye junkie, as I call myself, so this has my, my name written all over it. Chandra has a lot of really unique things, all one of her kinds. Please come check her out at our LV Craft Shows events. This is Dean with Fuchsia Art Studio, and as you can see, she makes amazing, amazing art. Not just fuchsia colors, actually other things too, but if you look at this, this is like this thing. What inspired you to do that? Um, so I actually started out making art for my own home, and then um, as I start doing this more, I realized, oh, you know, I actually quite like doing it. Would love to also be able to share with everyone else. And um, I, as you know, I love pink, so I thought, hmm, I don't see pink as often. So I thought, okay, well, let me, why don't I make something that is inspired by nature, in this case, Geo, and then by making sure that there's also always going to be something in pink. So those of people who are like me, who likes pink, will also be able to get something in the color they like. And that actually fascinated me about you a lot too because you see a lot of artists use turquoise and green and not a lot of pink. Yeah. And when I saw you, I was like, this is a perfect mix. Now, building an art piece like this, what goes into this? I mean, this is not just painting something. This is uh, like yeah. pure art. Thank you. Um, so for something like this, it is a multi-step process. So, um, so most of the time with resin geos, people usually do maybe two layers because they do a base coat and a top coat. Um, with mine, I usually do up to six coats. Oh wow! So, because I so like for me, if I use a different kind of um, palette of color, then I'll do another layer of resin on top. If I do line works, I do get another layer. So basically, I want to make sure that it's got that multi-dimensional feel, and then also by having more layers, it's definitely also stronger. Um, so for something like so something like this, for example, this is an 18 by 24, and it weighs about 35 pounds because wow. of the amount of materials. Wow! So it's true art, and you can see she has a variety of things. Not only big things. There's a bigger one behind me somewhere. She also has amazing coasters. Um, Dean just started with us recently. Has done a few shows, and she's signed up for quite a few more shows. Please come and check out her amazing art because you got to see this in person. Thank you. Yeah. I am here with Joanna and she is the owner and creator of Calimera Greek Bakery and she makes all these delicious Greek, real Greek goodies. Tell us, what is your specialty? Uh, actually, we're specializing in uh, baklava, in many varieties of baklava. 
We have the traditional baklava, we have the roll baklava with more pistachio, we have the chocolate baklava that is really amazing with the coffee and many, many other uh, desserts. She actually has also these really uh, delicious cookies there. What are they again? Yeah, this is uh, the wedding cookies or the curabiedes, the famous curabiedes. This is uh, one of our best sellers. Everybody, they crazy about that. Melt in your mouth and uh, it's really nice for the coffee. I'm from Germany and these really remind me of the hazelnut crescent cookies and they are so, so good. So definitely try it. If you would like to try any of Joanna's specialties, you've got to be at the shows early because she tends to sell out very, very fast. I am here with Sherry from Valentina Marketplace. She's one of our new vendors and artists and our new VIP and she makes really unique purses and handbags. Tell us about how, what inspired you to make these and what uh, dif makes them different from others. Okay, well, um, I like everything blingy, so I always used to shop, go to the stores and find blingy stuff. And when I couldn't find things, I would always buy charms and decorate my own purses or my own jean jackets. And I would always get like a lot of compliments um, on it. So then I started making them for gifts and everything. Yeah. I really love it. I also love how you kind of, the way how you display them. I yeah. think that's really, I mean, look at this. This is just gorgeous. Different, it's soft. These are nice when you don't need so much room and all. And over here you can see all the blingy things. Yes. Is there anything that's most of, uh, that's like your favorite? Well, um, I, use, I do a lot of spiritual. I like to do crosses and um, stuff like that. But I got into doing uh, sarcasm like little uh, like jokes on, with the purses and everything and I do have like these uh, uh, spiders and everything that bling and stuff and I, so I try to do different subjects. And you can make them for different seasons and I assume you can make custom work as Yes well, I right? can, yeah. So come see Cherry at some of our shows at other craft shows and check out her amazing purses. with Troy and Debbie from Jones and & Company and they make some really unique leather items. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you make and why? Yeah, so um, we're really happy to find a home here with Las Vegas craft shows because it's kind of a hobby gone bad and it turned into a business and um, people really like our products and we really try to bring quality products using some of the top of the line leathers and some of the stitching methods and the products that we use in creating our leather so that we get longevity of use, as well as that the person who is purchasing the, the product gets pleasure and has a good experience with it. I think that sounds really cool. And if you see on their table, they have all kinds of things and they keep adding on and you will see them at many of our upcoming shows this year. From, I'm here with Trina from Doglicious Bakery Bites. And she makes amazing dog treats. And they are they are human grade and natural. And she does a big variety, as you can see, they look like human. Tell us what inspired you. What made you want to do this for dogs? I am gluten-free and my baby, who is 12 years old, she's gluten-free. And I wanted to, my, one of my friends actually encouraged me to do this. And I wanted to make sure that all of the dogs got healthy 
all natural treats and they can live longer if they eat healthy. And that's very, very true. It's very important that there's not a lot of preservatives or items that people can't even pronounce in there. I also love how you make these cute little uh, boxes that are like gift boxes with really gorgeous looking delicious dog treats that not only your dogs can enjoy but me as a human as well and you mentioned they're gluten free. Why not enjoy a dog treat together, right? Exactly. I love it. I have soft products and uh, cookies that are a little bit harder and lots of different treats and even they're human grade and they are definitely human uh, grade and gluten free, natural, right? all natural. And if you don't want to buy a whole box, you can buy literally individual items as well. So be sure to check out Trina, who comes out to quite a few of our shows, especially at Tivoli and all, where you can bring your dogs and have them try it right there. So I am here with Victor from Real Deal Barbecue. And it's not your typical barbecue sandwich, although he does that too at some of our shows, but his specialty are Real Deal Barbecue Brownies. Tell us about it and what, it's, what is it? What's different? from other brownies? So instead of cooking them in the oven, I cook them on a wood-fired smoker. So I take chocolate chip cookie dough, Oreo cookies, and brownie, and then I put some salted caramel on the top, and I make that in the smoker. And they are the best brownies you've ever eaten. And, and they're definitely one of a kind. I mean, I'm not a big brownie person at all, except these. I mean, you have the one with the Oreo, you have one that's called Plain Jane, you have a Nutty Jane. What's the difference there? The Plain Jane and the Nutty Jane have shortbread on the bottom. My wife came up with that specialty. And then it's just plain brownie, and the Nutty Jane has walnuts in it. I encourage you to come to our shows early, because we are only a couple hours into the show, and he's almost sold out. So check out Real Deal Barbecue at LV Craft Shows. from the splintered oak and Travis makes actually a really really unique product these amazing wood houses and I don't know if you can see it but it lights up underneath Travis how did you come up with this idea actually I didn't I saw somebody else make it so I thought it was cool I decided to try it myself you know inspiration goes a long way I love that so you do you did a Halloween at first and then I kind of talked you into doing a little bit yeah, for the holidays yeah, I, did as a lot well. of, I had a lot of Christmas ones as well you know, and I have one with a snowman that has been outside my house year-round because I love it so much. You can find Travis at several of our events and I really hope you come and check him out at the Splintered Oak.
Cindy from Mount Charleston Zen. And Cindy has a wide variety of crystals and rocks and jewelry. You actually started as a candle vendor with me and then you transformed into all this. Tell us about it. So I've been a crystal collector for quite a few years and I started putting, uh, I learned how to make candles and I started putting the crystals in the candles. And then I just started adding to the collection and it has grown into a very successful business here. And you make all these bracelets yourself, right? Yes. And all the crocheted uh, um, items? Yes, I do. This is really, really an amazing collection. She will also tell you what each rock means or does. So if you need a little bit more happiness, more good health, fortune, what other things right. do a, we need? A lot of people are looking at this day and age for deflecting negativity. So we have stones for that, yep, yep, yes. Yep, and exactly. then love is also right up there. So you have deflecting negativity and bringing love in as well. You can find Cindy at many of our events. Please be sure to come check her out. So I am here with Lily and Kelly from King's Square International. And they have two businesses actually. Um, Lily does a lot of hair clips and she does these cute little things. She makes them actually. And then Kelly. Kelly hand makes all these nails and they also make cute little hair clips like that. So what inspired you to do this? I just love nails. Ever since I was uh, very young, I started doing my nail when I was in elementary school. My mom took me to salon with her and I was waiting and she decided I should get one too. So I started at a very young age and I just fall in love with it. And you know, her nails are super unique, very easy, all ages. And then all these hair clips that Lily has. So come and check her out. They do pretty much all of our shows. <laughs> Marlene from Island Girls Design and Marlene does very unique art and please tell us what are you doing? Um, so I take old books that people have um, discarded for whatever reason and make them into new art pieces to remind them kind of the value of of what books really are and to kind of keep those out of the environment. Um, so you'll see a lot of different things. Uh, the Grinch, for example, old maps here, um, just anything that I can find. I just like to turn it into something new again um, to give it new life. And you also take like old cabinets and doors and stuff that you repaint. Or yes. I don't know what you call that, but that's correct. So uh, all of the pieces are set on old uh, cabinet doors. Like you can see the framing in this particular piece, or even in the Grinch here, or cathedral window frames, which you recognize, or just old fence board, which is what is the backing for this particular piece. So there are a lot more components than just the book. There's just lots of pieces, and you'll see several that have old jewelry pieces. Um, pretty much anything that people are throwing away, I like to play with and make something else with. <laughs> it's just really, really unique and she actually won the most unique award with us. So please come and see Marlene at our shows. I am here with Kiki from Kiki's Candles and Kiki makes amazing candles. Why don't you tell us how your candles are different from others? Well, they're different because they're made by my husband and I and they're not mass produced. They are 100% soy, you have 100% cotton wax, and you have a burn time at least three to four hours for a perfect melt time. Oh, that's nice, and I'm smelling one. It smells like lavender, and you know what? Lavender keeps the bugs away, and you said also... And it's, lavender is good for your inner peace as well. Oh. And if you want your inner peace, you just have to come check out Kiki's Candles at our events. I'm here with Lisa from Resinista Lisa, and you are specializing in resin and things like that. Tell us yes. a little bit about what you make. Well, I started down the little rabbit hole on Instagram and saw this resin and I just thought it was amazing, so I wanted to try it. 
and I started out with coasters and then the ocean is just so calming and amazing so I started working with that it's a little challenging but I absolutely love playing with resin and Lisa comes up with all kinds of things I mean from charcuterie boards that look like turtles like she said the ocean theme is just amazing but she also makes little resin figurines and all kinds of things you need to come out to our shows or to her page and check her out thanks so much Susie I'm here with Kaylin from Zumi Sparkery. Kaylin is 14 years old and created this business. At what age did you do this? I started this at 12 years old. 12 years old. And these are dog treats, natural dog treats. So tell us what's so different and special about what you created. Well, with these dog treats, it's made with three ingredients. Peanut butter, pumpkin puree, and rolled oats. And these are human-grade food compared to other companies there's words in there that you even that you can't even understand. See, we use all natural food um, for the dogs that will like it, and specifically peanut butter because they really dogs really really like peanut butter. What I also love about your dog treats, you have a lot of them that are really small pieces for the little dogs. Yeah. Because a lot of the regular dog treats you see, they're always giant and even the little ones are giant and it's sometimes hard for them. What made you think of doing that? Well, I've seen many different breeds like um, a Chihuahua and then I saw a Pitbull. So why only make one size for one, uh, for one type of breed when you can make different sizes for all for all the type of breeds. I love different that. Different sizes. I love that. And I love how you come all dressed <laughs> up, add some more fun to it. You are such an inspiration to a lot of the young entrepreneurs out there, as I call them. Keep up the good work. I hope you keep going, going, going. And you can find Kaylin at many of our shows.